Hey everyone, I'm Zinnia. Hey, I'm Eric. And today we wanted to show you how to make this multiplayer reflex racer game on the phone. Yeah, let's try it. Uh, okay, cool. So maybe we'll go ahead and create a new project here. Uh, what do you want to choose? Maybe the character first, the sprite? Yeah. What should we have as like the character in the game? Uh, let's go to the objects. Maybe the, the, the clock? Yeah, that, that makes seems, sense. Where is that clock, Zoe? Oh, it's right there. Got it. There Nailed go. it. Uh, and then uh, I think we want a black background. So I'm going to show you this little trick I know. So if you uh, turn on the camera, hey everyone, and then you put it directly on a surface and take a photo, you get a perfectly black background. The first time you showed me that, I was like, oh my god. Yeah, mind blowing. Yeah. Uh, I also know in this game, we're going to want a green background for like to show that uh, the timer has started or like when you should click. Yeah. So I got some handy dandy sort of green paper here. And, hey, and I think I'll go ahead and add a new backdrop. Uh, I'll get the camera. This is another thing I love in Octo Studio, just taking photos of things in my space. How's that look? Pretty good? Yeah, it looks great. Ooh. That looks amazing. I call that a green backdrop. That is a very nice looking green backdrop, which we do next. The Well, I remember you were saying it would be cool if we like decorated the screen by having it say like, you know, reflex racer. Oh, on yes, it. of yes. course. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the uh, words and sounds category and I'm gonna grab the uh, text block. Where is nice. it? There we go. There it is. Um, and I'll just get it to say, eh. totally gonna type this right, reflex racer. Nailed it. Oh, so it's like underneath the clock? Yeah. Cool. That's perfect. There we go. Um, let's just test how that is. I love it. Oh, sweet. Uh, and so this will play the text for two seconds, but I think we should have it play <laughs> a bit longer in our game. What do you think? 999? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get you to it. All right. There we go. Uh, so that's the most it will let you play it for. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's not going anywhere. Cool. Um, if I attach that text block to the when play block, then now, you know, when I tap the play button, it's it's showing the text. Cool. So maybe we start with the black background, wait a little bit, and then change to the green background. Yeah. Yeah. So um, should I make a new stack here? Yeah, that probably. Seems good. Let's do that. Okay, and then we'll say is the purple category. I want to immediately <laughs> go to the black backdrop. So just test that right there. And then how many seconds? This could always change however many seconds you want. That's true. We could do three seconds in our game. Okay, sure, three seconds, and then we will switch to the green backdrop. So when the person plays, it'll be like back, black backdrop, green tap. Yeah. Exactly, and so then now as soon as it turns to green, the two players are gonna try and tap the green backdrop as soon as they can. Yeah, well, okay, let's, let's code that. Now let's actually make that <laughs> okay. work. Uh, so when the backdrop switches to green, we want the players to have to race to try to tap the screen as fast as they can. So to keep track of that, how about we make a variable called time? Cool. Keep track of the time. So I will go to the uh, more blocks category and I'll drag out a variable and I'll call it time. Cool. And how about I say when the play button is pressed, we'll set the time to zero, so starts fresh. And then how about when the backdrop switches to the green one, we can start the time running. Mm. So back in the more blocks category, this block change variable time, we can use that to you know, change the time by one. Nice. And if we put that inside a forever loop, that will really make it be like increasing <laughs> nice, nice, constantly. Nice, nice, like milliseconds almost. Yeah, exactly, almost. something like that. Uh, so, if I, so, okay, let's just try this out. I'm gonna attach that there. So when the backdrop switches to green, we'll start increasing the time fast. So hit the play button, time is zero. Now the clock starts running when it switches to green, but the players should also have a way to like, pause the clock. Pause, okay, yeah. I think I know how to do this. Yeah. So if the timer is running, we want to stop the timer, right? So, uh, and they'll be tapping the screen to make that happen. So yeah. let's say when I tap, I don't want just this right. When I tap anywhere? Yeah. So okay. anywhere, anywhere on the stage, I want to stop all the scripts except I might want to add more blocks here underneath, right? I might want to add yeah. some more blocks. So I want it to stop all the other scripts. Yep, yep. Okay, so. Let's try it. Nice. I hit it, I'm gonna tap it. So it stopped everything, but I still have the opportunity to add more blocks under here. Shall we test this out as yes. it is and see let's, let's uh, it. how it goes? Okay. okay, so full screen? Full screen, yeah. Okay, you usually get the first, you get honors. Okay, see, cool. See how quickly you can do it. 
and okay, that's... 16 seconds. Oh yeah, go for it if you can. Oh, oh, oh my god, 16. you died. Oh my god, okay, nice. well, that means okay, I have to try more. again. Oh, 14, okay, one more, one yes. more. Yeah. Sorry, y'all, this is very addicting. This is very important. 14, <laughs> okay, it's fine. Oh okay, we okay. can do this forever. The, 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 uh, there will be a rematch later. There'll be a rematch later. Okay, so uh, let's go back to this, okay. Okay, so yes. So the, as Eric was saying, now we have some room under this code um, because it would be fun to keep track of the high score that either player has ever been able to get. I mean, we yes. were remembering it in our minds, but yes. it would be nice if it just kept track of it. Yeah. So to keep track of a high score, I'll make a variable and I'll call it high score. Did I do that without typos? That's yeah, amazing. perfect. Ooh. And so basically we want the high score to keep track of the lowest time that any player has gotten. So what we want to do is we'll keep track of the high score, and if a player ever gets something that's lower than the high score, then we'll make that the new high score. So at the beginning of the game, when no one has played at all, let's just say the high score is, again, our favorite, 999. So cool. that whatever score you get, it'll be better than that. Mm -hmm. um, the so, so, okay, I'll say when the play button is pressed, set the high score to 999. And so we can say, when I tap the screen, then let's drag out an if block and let's say if the time is less than the current high score and drag out a variable block and say high score so so you've done well if your time is less than the high score you're you've yeah you've beaten it cool nice. and so now we want to set the high score to oh. whatever your time was so let me drag out another variable and say time uh so yeah let's try it out and see if that works cool all right okay. I'll, I'll go first this time okay, i'll try to set a great high score 999 Ooh, it's okay. 22. there we go so eric's score was 22 and so that beat 999 as a score so now the new high score is eric's score okay. now let's see if i can beat eric's score okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I noticed it reset. Oh, it Ooh, reset. this is a good segue. Maybe now we should make it replayable. Okay, yeah, so let's make yes. it replayable. And I might need a little bit of your help on this one. Yeah. So I think we'll use this script here, and we'll say after we've kind of set or not set a high score, let's uh, enable a replay using a message. Yeah? yeah, yeah. So I'll create a message. I'll do send message. I'll do a new message called replay. Mm -hmm. I'll try to spell it correctly. Nice. So that's going to send a signal to replay. And then what do we want to happen on the replay? We kind of want this initial stuff that we've been doing earlier, the title and the setting of the backdrop. Yeah, like we want it to, when you replay it, we want it to show the title again. We want it to, you know, set the backdrop to black and then green again. And we want it to restart the time at zero again. So cool. we can build all that. Bear with me here. There's probably a quicker way to do this. I know you're going pretty fast. Uh, I probably could have duplicated and switched it. And then importantly, I want to make sure instead of message one, it's replay. Yes. Okay, cool. So really all we're doing is kind of duplicating that code that we ran on the green flag. Or, I'm sorry, the play button. And just to mention, this part where we set the high score with the play button, we want that to happen on the play button, but not on the replay because in the replays, we want to preserve the high score from the last replay. I think we're all set. Maybe I'll give you the honors of going first. Yeah. Do you want to hit the play it. button? Let's go for it. Okay. okay. So I'll tap the play button. Nicely okay. done. High score of 35. 35. Let's see what you can do. 32. Okay, okay. No, no, don't touch that play button. Oh, yeah, right. 31! Oh, my all God, right. okay. Seven. seven. Okay, oh you're not going to get better than this. Maybe yeah. you can get better than seven. Only one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that is the base for how you could make a multiplayer reflex racer game, but there's tons of things you could add to this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, enjoy. Invite a, invite a friend to play. Yeah, exactly. You can play with your friends. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you in the next video.